The old saying has always been an actor's money is their face. Well, something like that anyway. That doesn't sound right. But the point of it was that if you're in the acting game, you better be able to sell your face. But not literally. This isn't face off. There is some truth to that. You don't even need to see Brad Pitt's name on a poster anymore. All you need is that wavy hair and chiseled face and you're instantly sold. Unless you hate Brad Pitt. But no one hates Brad Pitt. There's always an exception to this rule though and that's never more apt than when we start talking about actors who literally change how they look to do a movie. They utterly transform themselves in order to take on a role and there's some dedication. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is 9 famous actors you won't recognise in upcoming movies. Number 9. Bill Skarsgård in It Because this is 2017, remakes are all the rage and that's why a new version of It is on the cards too. Focusing on Stephen King's novel, which in itself focuses on some loony serial killer clown, it's a horrific tale which will ensure you never want to visit a child's birthday party again, just in case Bozo is there. It's important to allow an audience to buy into this as well. You don't want to see George Clooney running around as it because you'll just be sat there going, well that's just the clowns literally clowning around. You want to be able to suspend your disbelief. This is why if you go and see this revamp, you will never recognise Bill Skarsgård who was donning the makeup for this role. In it, he just looks like a demonic clown, which is good both for the audience and for when people see him in the street, otherwise they might run a mile. Number 8. Elizabeth Banks and Brian Cranston in Power Rangers Why or how these two actors are in the new Power Rangers movie I will never know. But they are, so we may as well just accept it. Not that you'll realise it's them if you go and see it, they've been utterly transformed. Firstly, we have Banks as Rita Repulsa, the arch nemesis of the Power Rangers, and to be frank, she looks nothing like her real self. With long dark hair, facial prosthetics, and kind of resembling an elf, Banks has completely embodied the character. Then there's Cranston, who for reasons that will never be explained, has been cast as the new Zordon. Why the producers needed the Breaking Bad star is anyone's guess too, because they've completely digitised his face almost beyond recognition. He looks like one of those pin art things. Weird. Number 7. Laura Dern in Star Wars The Last Jedi Right now, no one really knows what to expect from The Last Jedi apart from the fact it will be well Star Wars. Because all Star Wars films are well Star Wars. Clues in the name. One of the rumours going around though is that Laura Dern is going to look very different to the usual look we're used to seeing. At the moment, the description of her character is that she's aristocratic and fancy, wears elaborate dresses and has bizarre pink hair. So not quite a paleontologist who's running around Jurassic Park then. Still, it'll be interesting to see what she eventually emerges as. As long as it's not really odd. Number 6. Jacob Tremblay in Wonder Given that Wonder is a film about a child suffering from a facial deformity, it should come as no surprise that the actor given the lead role is going to go through quite the change. This is what Jacob Tremblay has taken on and why he will be fitted with a bunch of prosthetics to achieve this when he appears in Stephen Chbosky's movie later this year. All you need to do is go and check out some of the footage available to see how different he looks. There's no way anyone could pick him out of a lineup which means should he want to commit some crimes, now would definitely be the time. We should also give a shout out to the makeup department for doing a genuinely stunning job. Number 5. Dan Stevens in Beauty and the Beast Shouldn't come as a big surprise this one. Given that Dan Stevens is taking on the role of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, well, he wasn't going to look like himself now was he? Because that would just be well sh**. Just some human walking around pretending he's the Beast. Yeah. I'll put butts in seats. Instead, Disney have taken the much more expensive route of combining live action with CGI, and the end result looks pretty good, and Stevens looks like a grizzly bear. On top of that, he most definitely doesn't look like himself, but still must use his facial expressions to convey all the emotions. And on top of that, on top of that, his voice has been tampered with too. So he's just a new man at this point, or beast. New beast. Number 4. John Goodman in Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets Luke Besson's upcoming bonkers sci-fi is basically one drug-fueled dream. It looked crazy, and a large reason for this is the appearance of John Goodman who has been mo-capped and CGI'd no end to the point of lunacy. No one could look at this blob and go, oh yeah, that's the Goodman, or if they did, they'd have prior knowledge, or be lying. Even I'm lying a little bit, because I'm just guessing which monster is Johnny Boy as Besson is desperate to keep as much possible under wraps to the point nobody knows anything. But it seems likely that he is one of these guys. And even if it's not, it doesn't matter, because it will look nothing like Goodman. Number 3. Robert Pattinson in The Lost City of Z If you know Robert Pattinson from Harry Potter or Twilight, you know he's always looked like a baby-faced, clean-shaven boy you'd probably like to take home to your mum. Following on from these roles though, he has seeked out the more arty side of movies, which is why his appearance in The Lost City of Z is quite notable. 
It's also why his character here looks nothing like that youthful figure he played before. Instead, Henry Costin looks like a homeless bum who has decided to give up washing, grooming and all personal hygiene. All of a sudden, your mum ain't so happy about this anymore. Pattinson also dropped loads of weight and grew a massive beard. In short, doesn't like himself at all. Number 2. Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales Orlando Bloom's character basically got killed off in Pirates of the Caribbean, so you just know he's not going to look like himself in Dead Men Tell No Tales, the longest subtitle for a movie in history. He's been very upfront about that fact as well, saying that he's now Davy Jones and that he's living at the bottom of the ocean. And let's face it, if you live down there 365 days a year, you're not going to look too clever when you emerge. And if he does look too clever when he emerges, everyone's going to be disappointed now. So Disney has to do it. Number 1. Gary Oldman in The Darkest Hour Honestly, this transformation is amazing. Gary Oldman has somehow just become Winston Churchill for In The Darkest Hour, and it's hard to fathom how in the hell this has been pulled off. Just look at the change. Look at it. Set during the Second World War, Obviously, the promotional image alone is enough to get you interested and maybe even enough to convince you that the producer just dug up Churchill and brought him back to life to play the role of himself. It's that convincing. Know of any other actors that aren't going to look like themselves in upcoming movies? Let us know in the comments below and remember to like, share and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter at SimonMeta316. I'm Simon from What Culture, and I'll be chatting to you again soon.